Matty James takes it quickly. Hesitancy at the back. Andy Vyman could be in here. Too heavy on the chip. I think he thought he was offside. The, the flag has maybe gone up late, but that was a real opportunity. That was an opportunity. You're quite right, Toby. Andy Vyman yet again catching the defence unawares. I think he is onside, you know. And that Troy Deeney turns, playing slightly deeper in behind Scott Hogan as it stands. He hit the post in this fixture twice last season. A delightful ball into the box. And from our angle, it looked like the net was about to bulge, but Bristol City are able to clear the ball away. Well, I think half the stadium thought that had gone in, to be honest, Toby. Great opportunity for Gardner there. Certainly not. The finish did not match the uh, quality of the cross. Here come Birmingham again. It's time from range, and it's taken a horrible deflection. Completely wrong foot. Dan Bentley and the home side take an early lead here. It's McGree's second goal in three games. just felt the luck was on Bristol City's side on Saturday but that's a horrible one to concede well they should Matty James picks the ball up referee says the player got the ball Bristol City just not effective in possession wasteful at the moment Deeney with the cross in towards Hogan Atkinson feels he should have the decision, but Hogan almost makes it too. He does. I think there might be an offside call here. We might see that in a second. I think Hogan may have just drifted offside. I saw a thumbs up there from Atkinson. Approaching the half hour mark. Bristol City, aside from putting some good passes together, haven't troubled the goalkeeper, but could this be the moment? Andy Vyman's away again, but it's fallen to Vyman. Not a bad effort that. I wasn't surprised the uh, that Andy Vyman isn't having a word with the referee there about that late challenge from a Birmingham defender. In it goes. It's a delightful ball towards the back post. Roberts squares it. Deeney was waiting. And the shot goes in from McGree. Really dangerous set piece. De Silva sprints forward to take another, but there's no option immediately as Martin tries to find Vyman. He dispossesses a Birmingham man. George Friend does just enough. Is there a chance to back in some drilled over the crossbar? George Tanner with the effort. Golden opportunity for Bristol City. George Tanner out of nowhere. It's a snapshot for him. He doesn't have long to think about it. Still plenty of time for Bristol City, but they could have to come back from a second here. And this time it's Scott Hogan. Bristol City switch off. It comes from the kick forward from Sarkic. And a relatively straightforward finish for Scott Hogan. It's far, far too easy, Toby. From a goalkeeper clearance, I think it comes off of Zach Viner's head. It's not even Troy Deeney that wins it. Scott Hogan onside. It's far too easy for Birmingham to double their lead. Appear to be much structure to Bristol City's play at the moment. Lots of long balls forward. And Bella looks to have the beating of Viner, but don't underestimate his pace. So easily picked up by Gardner. Lots of blue shirts forward. Graham swings it in, Gardner flicks it on, and it's a third. Really poor from Bristol City, too easy for Birmingham. And Gary Gardner seals the points for the home side. Well, I've sung his praises in the first half. Tariq Backinson, but that's far too easy 